Hey everyone, Big Paulie back for a brand new video. Uh, got home from work last night and found this really big package. No idea who it's from, doesn't say on the outside, but I'm sure we'll find out when we open it. But it does say subscriber mail. I wasn't expecting any, so as I say, I have no idea who it's from. But uh, it's got a couple of uh, Marvel stamps up the top here. So anyway, let's open it because it's quite bulky and it's quite heavy. And uh, I have no idea what's in here. So let's open it and have a look. Okay, so let's rip it open. Oh, I love receiving... Um, subscribe on my Jesus holy moly mother what in the Jesus hang on let me just... I'm going to pull them out one by one because I haven't seen really what's a lot in here but I was just looking for a note <coughs> right, okay, okay. Okay. oh we do have a lovely note Oh, my postcard. Okay. Hi, Paul. Hope all is well with you and Papa Bowman. It certainly is. Thank you very much. This is subscriber mail number five. From This must be from Lewis. Uh, Lewis that sent me uh, the Muppets here and um, um, anime. Ghibli. <laughs> That's a thing of the studio then. Uh, today I have sent you more Blu-rays than what I did last... Oh my God, last January. Let's hope that this year will be much better than last year and we can safely return back to normality and back to the cinema. Yay! Uh, and watch all those movies that were supposed to come out last year, like Bob's Burgers the movie. <laughs> yeah, I've been waiting for that one. <laughs> no Time to Die and, of course, Black Widow. I thought that's, I was going to say Black Window. <laughs> Keep up all the great content, Paul, from Lewis Thompson. P.S. When is your review of Harley Quinn Season 1 coming? It will be coming very soon. I'm also going to be doing a uh, a season review of Cobra Kai as well. Because uh, as soon as I finish the season, I'm going to review it. But uh, yes, we will talk about them. But that's from Lewis, so thank you very much, Lewis. Right, I'm not even going to look in here, so I'm just going to pull stuff out as I get to it. Right, this one feels quite bulky. <laughs> First up, we have Mamma Mia. Uh, two movie collection. Never seen these films. No, I've never seen these films. They look a bit corny um and a bit washy washy but i'll give them a go um i like abba <coughs> uh i think piers i've heard piers brosnan singing is really atrocious but i'm definitely definitely up for giving that a go hey can't be worse than cats and um 50 shades of shit can it so mum mia Thank you very much. The two movie collection. We'll give it a go. Oh, we have some more Studio Ghibli. My Neighbour Totoro. What is that? That looks weird. One of the most beloved of all family films. Okay, because I've still got quite a few more of these uh, Studio Ghibli's to go, including Ponyo. Uh, yeah. And with a really nice slip. Okie dokie. Brilliant. Uh, we have another one. Uh, inspired by Mary Norton's The Borrowers. That was John Goodman, wasn't it? Arietti. Arietti. No slip on that one, but never mind. Arietti. For a moment, I thought that was a bug's life. Oh, it looks colourful. 
Brilliant. Okay, well, we'll try that one as well. Oh, I've heard good things about this. I don't really know too, too much about it or what it's about, but I've heard really good things about this. It's called Harriet. I'm going to be free or die. I take it it's like a slavery movie or something. Maybe like 12, uh, 12 years a slave. Looks like an American import. So, uh, yeah, we'll definitely give that one a try. Brilliant. Oh, there's still something down here. Next coming out is... Oh, I've not seen this. I've been meaning to, do, to try and see this. Uh, this is also supposed to be pretty good. Tom Holland and Will Smith, Spies in Disguise. I do like my animated movies, and that looks a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that that's actually quite a fun film. Brilliant. Spies in Disguise. Blimey. Oh, my crikey. Oh, wow. Oh, mate, you didn't have to do all this. This is insane. This is a DreamWorks 3 movie collection. But I, also, I think it also includes one that is really hard to get hold of on Blu-ray. So you have Flushed Away, Wallace and Gromit, Curse of the Were-Rabbit, and Chicken Run. I believe Chicken Run is really hard to get hold of on Blu-ray. Uh, and maybe I don't think it's even out over here in, on a uh, Blu-ray. But uh, yeah, I can see this is an Australian release. Fantastic. Oh, brilliant. Thanks very much. Uh, Flushed Away. I've never seen Flushed Away. Uh, I like Wallace and Gromit. I like anything with Wallace and Gromit. Uh, and Chicken Run, of course, as well. But Chicken Run, it's been such a long time since I've seen that. But uh, yeah, that's brilliant. Wow. There's still more stuff. Coming out next. Oh, Christ. Wow. Wallace and Gromit, the complete collection. 30 cracking years. Includes a grand day out, the wrong trousers, a close shave and a matter of loaf and death. Plus also Wear Rabbit. So that's more or less the, the entire Wallace and Gromit collection. Oh my God. This, this is going to be a marathon. This is going to be a marathon. I love Wallace and Gromit. That is brilliant. What else? Have you got anything else in here? What do we have? Oh, one more. Oh, okay. Um, and we've got a box. Surprise. So, I don't, don't know what this is. Uh, see if I can undo it with my fingernail. B Bobby Box Cutter, where are you? I think I've tucked her away. Oh, that's all right. Shouldn't be too difficult. Okey there's one bit and another bit of sellotape can come off. There we go. Oh, no idea what's in here. Right. Wow. I didn't even know they did this. Well, you know, I'm going through the Muppets at the moment with the Muppet movies. Muppet Steelbook. Kermy. Oh, look, he's got a ring around him. Oh, look, he's going up to heaven. And it's got debossing. Wow. Muppet Steelbook. I didn't know they did that. Oh, my God, mate. Do you know what? Should we, un should we unbox this? Let's unbox this now. 
and it looks really nice as well. It looks like Kermit's actually debossed as well. Kermit has been debossed by Miss Piggy. <laughs> Oh yeah, that is a really nice still book. That is a really nice still book. Love it. Look, you can see his mouth there is debossed uh, and his eyes that look like flying saucers. And the title up the top there. Wow. We have a really nice uh, spine there. I love it in green, white and green. And then on the back, Muppets. And I haven't actually got round to watching this one yet because this is part of the Muppet Marathon, but I haven't got round to seeing this one yet. So this looks like it's actually one of the newer ones because I, I recognise the guy from How I Met Your Mother. Nice inside artwork. And a disc. Wow, fantastic. And it's in absolute mint condition as well. Me, 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 me. <laughs> and I love the way that sometimes they do these slips where it just all connects. Oh my Christ. Thank you very much, Lewis. I'm always blown away, totally blown away whenever I get subscriber mail from me. From me, from you. <laughs> And it's so, it's such a touching, it's so kind, you're so kind. I would have thought that after the review that I did of um, Spirited Away, you might have thought, oh, ungrateful sod, I'm not sending him anything anymore. <laughs> but uh, oh, this is fantastic, absolutely fantastic. There's so much, so much good stuff here. Looking forward to watching a lot of this stuff, wow. So, let me just quickly run through them, so we have... The Muppets Still Book, Wallace and Gromit, 30 Years Collection. I don't think I ever saw this Blu ray. Must have missed me by. And then we have the DreamWorks 3 Movie Collection, Spies in Disguise. I think that's going to be fun, that one. Harriet. Wow. Ar is it Arietti? Arietti. Yeah, it looks like Arietti. That does look really colourful. My Neighbour Totoro. And uh, Mamma Mia! The Two Movie Collection. Fantastic. Thank you very much again, Lewis. That is so, so thoughtful. <clears throat> wow. I love my viewers. Yes, thank you very much again, Lois. Hope you enjoyed the video, everybody. I certainly did. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to start. Of course, I'm going to carry on with the Muppets, so there'll be a new Muppet review. Um, I think I should also do a new, uh, a new Studio Ghibli. So I'll dig the Studio Ghibli out. Probably when Marnie was there. That probably might be the next one. But yeah, that's... Wow. Thank you, Lewis. Thank you very much. Brilliant. So, hope everybody enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Give big two thumbs up to Lewis as well. Because he is one of the kindest people I know. And, uh... I don't expect subscriber mail. You know, it's, it's not something that I'll... You sit here wondering, when am I going to get my next subscriber mail? It's just a joy when someone goes out of their way, spends their hard-earned money um, and sends you gifts. <sighs> Shows this world is not all bad, eh? Thank you again, Lewis. So, uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Like it by giving it some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and share, because like Alan says... Why wouldn't you? It's all free. Yes. And uh, I shall see you on the new, uh, on the next video. And also, as Jamie says, stay safe and play safe. Yes. 
we have to come up with our um, UK blue tubers catchphrases. Well, everybody knows mine, <laughs> but uh, we all seem to be de developing our own catchphrases. So uh, maybe somebody should do a compilation of everybody's catchphrases. Till next video, <gasps> bye. And say goodbye to my polos. <laughs> oh, I could just suck a minty polo right now. <laughs> bye.